Well, it looks like the Chinese government is pushing for everyone in China to use Harmony operating system instead of the other operating systems. Because this system is developed by Huawei and not just on the smartphones, but they want it to use it in the other industries as well. Because they want to promote Harmony operating system over rivals like Android and iOS because most recently, the Shenzhen government has launched the Shenzhen Action Plan for supporting the development of the native Harmony OS open source applications in 2024. The goal is to have more than 10% of the Chinese native Harmony OS applications developed in Shenzhen. The plan also includes building at least two special industrial parks for the Harmony OS development and training over thousands of software companies in Harmony OS. Additionally, there are plans to expand Harmony OS outsourcing services to cultivate a pool of half a million developers and promote the use of the Harmony OS applications in key industries in Shenzhen. The Shenzhen government says that Harmony operating system has vast potential for adoption outside of the Huawei devices. So I would say, with the support from the government and the Huawei's efforts, the Harmony OS could now become a strong competitor globally. And this is an alert for the Apple and Android. They should be worried now because there is no doubt that China is one of the largest smartphone market globally. And by doing this, they are openly telling that they only want Huawei to rule in China. Huawei already dethroned Apple in the Chinese market. Apple sales in China is continuously decreasing. And now, it looks like the time for Android is also coming. As Huawei's Harmony OS now runs on 16% of the smartphones sold in China, and through these investments and the partnership, Harmony OS could easily challenge Android and iOS dominance. Even most recently, Huawei has announced that there are now over 4,000 native apps that are developed or in development for the native Harmony OS app ecosystem, which were only 2,000 earlier this year. Well, this announcement comes aimed the company is now preparing to launch the Harmony OS Next program, which is basically a pure version of the Harmony OS operating system. Because the dual app framework of the Harmony OS integrates open source Android code libraries, the company has eliminated all of the Android code from Harmony OS Next and is now focusing solely on the Harmony OS apps. In simple words though, Huawei and the Chinese government wants all of the big companies to create native apps based on Harmony OS like they don't want companies to use Google's Android code anymore for making applications. And it's possible that we might see the launch of the Harmony OS next very soon. So this shows that Huawei's Harmony operating system could become a big global competitor with the support from the Chinese government and Huawei. And this move could challenge the dominance of Android and iOS because Huawei is now removing Android code from the Harmony OS and is focusing only on the Harmony OS apps native. So it raises a question, could this be the end of the Google's presence in the Chinese market? It's something to think about as the story unfolds. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.